The Congress thought it had quelled the desert storm. An uneasy truce was called. The political crisis in the state unit was stalled. But under the cloak of unity are daggers still drawn. Is the Gehloth versus Pilot politics still threatening an election 37 days away? As the Congress Election Committee meets for ticket distribution, the Rajasthan Chief Minister leaves Rajasthan for Delhi with a direct jibe at Pilot. That's going to bring offer for you the Governor Sahib ne rate de di, ऐसे ने बोला नहीं कि rate बढ़ गई इनकी, दस बीस तीस चालीस बोलो क्या करना आपको? Driving the point that he and his loyalists saved the government from an alleged rebellion scripted by Sachin Pilot on the eve of Rajasthan election. Upcoming Rajasthan Assembly election. Gehloth still guns for Sachin Pilot. Top focus on India today. Good evening, you're watching uh, To The Point. I'm Preeti Chaudhary. Well, you know, let's quickly put the focus on uh, what took place in the national capital today. The election committee of the Congress met. However, the list for Rajasthan is not announced yet. But also what happened was that the chief minister of Rajasthan, Ashok Gehloth, left Rajasthan yesterday for Delhi, but not before taking a veiled jibe at Sachin Pilot. Listen in to what he said. That's going to be an offer for you before. When the governor has given the rate, the rate has increased, the rate has increased. दस बीस तीस चालीस बोलो क्या करना आपको वो तीन चार लोगों की जरूरत थी तीन चार लोगों की जरूरत थी उनको टच एंड गो मामला था पर आप देखिए कितनी बड़ी गुरविल थी कितनी बड़ी गुरविल थी सरकार की और किस प्रकार पब्लिक का सपोर्ट मिल रहा था एम एल को टेली में आ रहे थे अगर आपको छः महीने रुकना पड़े होटल के अंदर और रुकीगा सरकार किसी कीमत पर नहीं गिरनी चाहिए टेंशन को क्या मतलब समझ गया आप मामूली से अंतर था उस वक्त में सरकार ने बचाई है I want to quickly connect to my colleague Dev Ankur who's joining us live with the latest that's coming in Dev uh, you know interesting in terms of the language chosen by Ashok Gehloth on the eve of election he comes to Delhi but makes it very clear when he rakes up the rebellion of 2020 by Sachin Pilot, where he goes on to say in direct terms that it was he and his loyalists that saved the government where 10 crores were taken by many, where the rate had gone to 30 to 40 crores as well, and it was just touch and go. Well, Preeti, very interesting turn of events. You remember when back in 2022, which is last year, September 25, that date will be etched in the history of Rajasthan politics for how the events panned out. That was when Ashok Gehloth raked up those old issues, brought out those old skeletons out of the cupboard. Why? Because in the air, the possibility, and the possibility is the operative word out here, Preeti, the possibility of something... Uh, significant happening in Rajasthan politics. What was that significant thing which could have happened? That the person uh, on the throne of the CM's chair could have been dethroned and he could have been replaced by someone much younger than him. That w possibility was palpable in the air. Ashok Gehloth probably averted that possibility, Preeti, back then. And at that time, around that time, he raked this same issue time and again, mm -hmm. 10 crores. But Dev Ankur, to rake up that same issue on a rebellion which happened in 2020 after, clearly, you know, where optics was concerned, there was a truce which was called for, no matter how uneasy it might have been, to rake up that rebellion, to talk about rebels when you're 37 days away from elections. So, Preeti, now another significant thing which could possibly happen very soon, probably tonight, probably tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, is the first list of the Congress. That thing is very significant because...
pilot ashok gelot both know whosoever get the majority of tickets probably their people the majority number will get to the assembly and if the majority people get to the assembly from let's say the pilot camp he can have the say if in case hypothetically speaking congress forms the next government in rajasthan so both pilot and gelot are indulging in this internal tussle because they know and they want their men or their people to come in larger numbers in the state assembly so that kind of internal politics is going on today sachin pilot was missing from the chief, uh, from the congress election committee meeting he was present on the earlier occasion but today mm -hmm. despite being a cwc member he was not invited we are given to understand and these are unconfirmed reports preeti that there was a verbal uh, uh, you know a tussle that happened at the meeting between ashok gelot and sachin pilot sachin pilot apparently okay. reportedly made it very clear why are you raking up old issues now you know this kind of a tussle ashok gelot time and again talking about what happened in manesar what happened back in 2020 raking up Old issues, you know, trying to rub it okay. in. As far as the old wounds are but concerned, but also are these all pressure tactics the on the eve Congress of uh, not... ticket distribution? Because today, at least uh, out of the two hundred, hundred names were penciled in, yet not announced. Uh, a keen eye on the first list in Rajasthan, where Congress comes into question. But for now, they appreciate you joining us. Let's quickly cut across to our other panelists this evening: Avinash Kala, senior journalist; Amitabh Tiwari, political analyst; Rakhi Rathor, BJP spokesperson. The BJP in itself dealing with factionalism in terms of rebels, and uh, Swarnam Chatur Vedi, spokesperson of the Congress. Amitabh Tiwari, what do you make of what we are witnessing right now uh, in the state of Rajasthan? Factionalism in both sides, but more to worry for the Congress, uh, especially where Mr. Gelot versus Mr. Pilot is concerned. Yes, so essentially, what uh, Gelot and is trying to do is that uh, remind Congress that these twenty MLAs had rebelled, and he wants to deny tickets to Sachin Pilot's camp so that uh, his camp gets a lesser number of tickets because the CM position is still open in Rajasthan. The Congress has not announced Ashok Gehlot as its chief ministerial candidate. Now we have to understand that the Congress situation here is similar to the Karnataka situation of BJP. the congress has never won in the last three elections 54 seats despite forming government twice which means that the congress needs to win 100 out of 150 seats and that is why we see that in both 2008 and 18 it was not able to get simple majority on its own that is the most tricky part for congress in rajasthan elections in terms of stronghold seats also the congress has won five three out of Three times only five seats, whereas BJP has twenty-eight seats. So this factionalism is not only going to impact the ability of the Congress party to make a comeback or win the elections, but it, but the distribution of the Congress camp into two factions, largely, also means that both the factions will be up against each other and try to undo both the parties, and that is likely to have an impact. on the electoral results and that is why also probably the bjp has not mm -hmm. announced any cm candidate because there is a strong trend of change of government and it wants to exploit or it wishes to exploit the anti incumbency against the government and the factionalism within the congress unit you know the congress would turn around and say we wanted to exploit the factionalism within the bjp but right now abinash kala the way things are poised you know what was the need of mr gelot to rake up something which happened in 2020 especially at a time where where optics was concerned a truce was called for pressure tactics before ticket distribution one can understand but the messaging which goes out then will ruffle a lot of feathers well uh, it would be naive of anybody to think that mr gelot would not rake this issue up optics is something that has been forced and the congress party hasn't been able to get it right and my friend swarnim is also on the panel he would refute me but look at it when ercp the protest started and it started in uh, the eastern rajasthan in bara area area where uh, gujars have a vote say mr pilot was missing he was there in a uh, the thing came out that he was there in for an exam for a promotional mm -hmm. thing uh, in the army but he was missing in action the congress party's biggest challenge is to just bring these two leaders on the same page and as rightly amita pointed out those 53 seats and again on that the chief minister has said 
that there is an anti incumbency against the sitting mlas but he is also saying my 120 people who got my government in should be safeguarded so the the rift between the congress is way too bigger than what we see in the bjp <coughs> and it's a it's a worrying sign because all was good you know i spoke to sources inside the party they were saying wait for a couple of hours and the list is out but they don't want to spoil another optics because day after priyanka uh, vadra is coming in for a rally and if the list comes out and there is a rebellion they don't want anything prior to that so congress is taking one step at a time and very very cautiously well you're right there bang on because mr kala you know we have been waiting for that list uh, we've got the second list of chatisgarh they said that the rajasthan list would be announced the congress that uh, later this evening doesn't seem it's going to be announced today at all uh, will it be announced tomorrow we don't quite know but having said that uh, let's cut across to swarnim chaturvedi of the congress swarnim chaturvedi what you were expecting to cash on which was factionalism where the bjp was concerned at the back of what's gone down with vasundhara rajay sindhya and the rebels in the bjp right now it seems you've got a lot going on in your own divided house no there is no divided house in congress right now we are focusing to win the elections on the basis of the welfare schemes that we have uh, uh, floated our government has uh, done so much matlab uh, we have floated so much welfare scheme that uh, even the uh, 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 the other state governments are studying the schemes that we have made so right now there is only one thing that is uh, one there is one government that fulfills the promises there is one government like uh, uh, we can say the central government uh, that doesn't fulfill the promises they uh, made the promises okay. of uh, curb so the price rise so mr swarnam chaturvedi in the middle uh, of it how did mr gelot find the time to talk about what went down all the way back in 2020 where he spoke of rebels uh, you know who taken 10 crores of rupees and the ones who stuck by him were even offered 30 crores and it was only touch and go because only three or four were needed but they didn't go to the rebel camp um, cm uh, ms uh, gelot saab was saying that the bjp is leveling the charges of corruption on the mlas on what he said is that Uh, our mlas are not corrupt they uh, refuse the money offered by the bjp that was what uh, mr gelot was saying so uh, if uh, somebody has to answer about the corruption that uh, is uh, uh, bjp has to answer because the bjp uh, senior leaders of the bjp has leveled ch uh, cor char corruption charges on the central minister in rajasthan uh, bjp leaders are uh, leveling corruption charges in, even in the ticket distribution so bjp has to answer where uh, how can they uh, curb the corruption that is within their party uh, the charges against their uh, leaders so uh, mr galot has just explained that our okay. leaders but he also are explained they are not okay i'm going to cut across to the bjp as, uh, the bjp right but but you know mr mr chaturvedi i'll cut across to mr rathor but the fact is he also in detail went on to explain uh, on how it was only touch and go and only two three were needed because the rest had already crossed over with that 10 crore and those two three were being you know trying to be lured with over 20 to 30 crores per mla but we'll come down to that i know it's a bit of an uncomfortable question right now but mr rathor the fact is all not well with the bjp camp as well you have uh, enough uh sit you know sitting mlas who were turned down for a ticket now who are promising to go independent and pledging allegiance to vasundhara raje Uh, Preeti, well, what the reactions which are observed, which is observed from these kind of uh, these uh, sitting MLAs who who were not able to get ticket this time, it's a very natural, you know, kind of reaction from these candidates. But you know, for the balance sake, you are uh, you know comparing the status of BJP and Congress here in Rajasthan because look at the level of words which has been. you know which have been uh, shared between the two leaders of congress party like nakara nikamma karuna so kind of rift the kind of conflict between the two the, between the two leaders of congress party has crossed the roads now so it is it is not uh, good that we are comparing the two parties here in rajasthan the, the second point is that uh, uh, swarnin ji was pointing about fulfilling the promises i just want to quote the first promise they made in their manifesto that they will wave off the loan of farmers in rajasthan within 1 2 3 10 days and i still remembers those 10 1 to 10 count of uh, 
Rahul Gandhi in Rajasthan, but they failed to do that miserably here in Rajasthan as well. So don't, don't do that because okay. from last four and a half years, we have seen there's a conflict between, there's a rift between the party. The half of the party was busy in Kursi Bachao program and the half party was Kursi Khincho program. So they had they have nothing to do with the welfare of the uh, people of Rajasthan. And that is the reason from last four and a half years, they did nothing. And last six months, they announced many schemes, but on ground level, the schemes were not okay. implemented properly. And that is, I want to challenge also, you know, uh, Swarnamji, you just quote one scheme which you were able to implement corruption free. There are charges of corruption uh, in the uh, okay. Jeevan mission in DOIT department, which okay. is headed by the chief minister himself. Ms. Rathor, so, we're going to ask think, that uh, question to Ms. Chaturvedi, but I want to cut across back, uh, you know, permission with the both of you uh, to Mr. Kala and uh, Mr. Tiwari. Mr. Uh, Amitabh Tiwari, I'll come back to you. You know, if at all it's going to be a tight contest, do you see that this is going to be an election of independence? See, the smaller parties and independents have a, had a good role in Rajasthan elections, winning airway, anyway between 15 to 20 percent vote share. And both in 2008 and 18, the smaller parties like BSP and independents had bailed out the Congress. That is how the Congress was able to form the government. Now, this time, because of intense factionalism, not only in the Congress party, but also within the BJP, as we are mentioning, if there is a tight contest, the the role of the smaller parties, RLP, independents, BSP, mm -hmm. Amati Party, etc., becomes fairly important because the MLAs who win from these parties are likely to decide which party will form the government if there is a hung assembly situation. And some surveys are indicating that there could be a right. very, very contest in Rajasthan. So they could emerge as the kingmakers, as we say, and both parties, independents, backed by some of the leaders because in 2018 mm -hmm. also Avinash ji will confirm many of the independents who won were actually True. loyalists of Ashok Gehloth and that was a trick which was employed by Ashok Gehloth allegedly so that he gains the upper hand True. in the formation or of the cabinet and in the naming of the chief minister that these guys will support Congress party only when I am named as the chief minister. So these sort of games are also likely to play from the BJP side as well, especially uh, Vasundara Raj. Exactly. And that's where I bring you in, Mr. Kala, because, you know, if, um, if at all it comes to a close contest, then do we see what went down in 2018 played not just by Vasundara Raje and Mr. Gelot, possibly <clears throat> Mr. Pilot as well, depending on who's denied a ticket, which camp has the upper hand? Well, uh, it all depends. Like in the Congress, it's very clear Mr. Pilot would want to get his people into contest. And like last time also, the, the Galoth camp would want those seats to be minimized. Interestingly, uh, in last election, had the Congress not fumbled in, their majority would be above 130. But coming back to BJP, I don't think uh, that Ms. Vasundra Raje would go that level, that she would feel mm -hmm. independent or anything. I believe that she would be uh, within the party's fold and they would find a uh, amicable solution. Because, see, BJP is a practical political party where the high command holds some power. And in the Congress party, the high command doesn't hold that power. That is the biggest thing. Uh, so far, yes, Vasundra ji has been cornered, but you see her everywhere. BJP's optics has only gone wrong in the last seven days when few independents out of 41 have gone on a rebellion. Otherwise, you constantly see them posing together. They are all smiles. They, they, they don't talk uh, bad about each other in public. No words exchange. So BJP is keeping it optics right. And uh, their deputy leader, Mr. Uh, Rathod, said that in the next list onwards, you will not see any of these things happening. So they have <clears> got <throat> their act together. I don't think that independent ploy would work. Anybody would have that. Uh, power or guts because, you know, at the center, it's the BJP's yeah, thing. All the independents would be risking their stakes way too high if they go against the BJP. Um, so, Chaturvedi, just two days ago, you had Rahul Gandhi who said that now Congress has closed the gap which they had with the BJP and you're possibly at the cusp of winning Rajasthan, which is changing and turning history around. You still haven't announced or been able to announce your tickets, uh, at least the first round of that. We were hoping that we'd hear, it, hear about them by the end of the day. That's not happening. The one thing I should say that we have already completed the exercise. 
so uh, the list will come out uh, uh, either today or tomorrow but uh, we have completed the exercise or uh, what uh, we have seen in the bjp is it's okay. not going to be seen in mm -hmm. the congress it's not a, a, because bjp that was uh, they were claiming all the way around that uh, they are ek mukhi they are uh, uh, sitting on a one table but we can see uh, the whatever the definition of rebellion or in fighting which could be described they have shown all so bjp in fighting just we have seen one. because bjp i just want to ask one example faction, of bjp there are two factions in the bjp right from the center to the bottom and we have we are seeing that our list okay. is complete our exercise is complete will come out okay your exercise is complete your list is not out but it will be interesting have... to know what happens after the first list is out because i believe 100 names have been penciled in mr kala 10 seconds sir you wanted to make a point go ahead just one simple thing the bjp's rebellion was evident once the list came out in the congress even before the list would come out we have seen rebellion yes, aicc has become a wwe ring for the congress people and But all the right loyalists are held yesterday helter. yesterday you had mr dotasra who actually said that the chief minister's uh, you know position if at all the congress comes into power could go either way and that's why mr tiwari i want to bring you in for quick 10 seconds because mr dotasra who himself is a jat who's got the highest in terms of numbers where demography is concerned in rajasthan many would suggest fancies his own hat in the ring yeah in fact uh, there is a thinking amongst the congress high command that to get rid of their dependence okay. on ashok bhut and sachin pilot they could look for a loyalist from their side do tatsra is number 1 harish choudhary is number 2 raghu sharma these two three people are there who could actually become the face of okay. the congress because in the sea voter survey 25% of congress supporters right. that they want a fresh a fresh face except ashok gehlot and sachin right. pilot you know but many would say mr sachin pilot still quite popular right now at least whether rallies are uh, you know uh, optics are concerned many would say that they'll give it to delhi journalists uh, who seem to think he's popular but uh, uh, we'll only you know we'll only find out when that last vote is counted i appreciate all three of you for joining us and thank you ms rathor uh, uh, you know for uh, giving us your point of view where the bjp is concerned we're going to keep a keen eye on developments in rajasthan waiting for the first list uh, of ticket distribution by the congress but we do want to leave you